Well, if you were anywhere near Hitchner Hall on UMaine's campus today, your taste buds taste buds may have started to water. That's because 11 Maine high school students were cooking up some tasty meals for a program highlighting Maine agriculture. I went there to get a taste of the innovative local foods cooking challenge. There are so many possibilities, so many interesting things you can do in the world of food. It's the taste of Maine. The UMaine Cooperative Extension hosted their innovative local foods cooking challenge. This competition is an opportunity for the CTE programs to send a team of two to compete against their peers uh, preparing a dish using only Maine ingredients. Those participating in the competition are 11 Maine high school students who are in the culinary arts program. Student chefs were introduced to their market basket, brainstormed some ideas, and then had an hour and a half to complete their dish. So we got to see a lot of the products the kids are using, and we got to learn how to use them to bring it back to the classroom. Culinary instructors Jennifer Potter and E.B. Baldwin teaches their students the importance of cooking locally grown foods and how it may change your taste buds and the economy. So we do talk about uh, seeing what local things we can get our hands on um, and doing as much outside of the classroom, um, like in a couple weeks we're going to go fiddleheading, um, we're going to pick our own rhubarb, we did our own apples, we, uh, we're trying to incorporate as much as of the things we can from the state of Maine into, into our classrooms. Robert Dumas grew up in Louisiana and found his passion for food through the same culinary arts program. He says the high school age is the perfect time to think about the impact of culinary arts, especially when you live in a state like Maine. It's delicious. The idea was that kind of a downstream impact, right, that if we, if we get these students students thinking about this when they're high school age and then and we get the instructors thinking about it you know this is the future of Maine's hospitality workforce these are our next restaurateurs these are our next chefs and to kind of have them start thinking about being proud of where they live and the foods that, that their state produces I think it's the perfect time for that time was going by Do you want to be the first dish judge be ready in five minutes and the final product of the first round was complete. Judges tasted delicious dishes ranging from a vegetarian stir fry to a delightful quiche, and it was clear the decisions were tough. But overall, Dumas wants the experience to be unforgettable for the students, and hopefully they'll get a taste of their own power. The most important thing is that these students feel proud um, that they're cooks, they feel proud to be cooks here in Maine, and they feel excited about Maine's food system and the incredible foods we produce here in Maine.